What's cracking guys, it's Steve here. I hope you've all had an amazing week and you've been learning all those tricks that I've been teaching you. This week I'm gonna show you three really cool folk shuffles. Now I've been doing these shuffles for a very long time and I know you guys are gonna enjoy them. The first and the second one are a combination of each other. The third one is a really fancy riffle shuffle and it's a false one. So you're really gonna enjoy it, so check this out. All right guys, so here is the very first false shuffle, okay? So I've got the cards in new deck order for demonstration. Now, this is what it looks like. You give the cards a few cuts, like so, and obviously they remain untouched. Now let's learn how that's done. Now to pull this off, here's what you need to do. You need to hold the cards in this grip right here. So you don't use your pinkies, you use all the other fingers. So you hold them in that position, use your right pointer finger to lift up a little portion of the pack, use your left pointer to lift up again. Now you should have three little piles here. One, two, three. Okay, so do that again. You hold it in that position, you lift up, up, and then with your right hand, you're going to pull those two cards out, or those two packets, sorry. You're gonna pull those two out, you're gonna bring them onto the top, release the top portion, bring the middle one out, that becomes the top, and you place it on top there, but not flush, because you're then gonna grab the bottom heap, and you're just gonna slam it right on top, like that. So, medium pace. Up, up, pull around, drop the top, pull the middle out, bring it on top, remember, it's not flush. And then, you put the rest on top, just like that. And it retains the order of the deck. Okay, so let's learn how we do that bit from behind the scenes. Okay, here's the behind the scenes look at the first false shuffle. So, basically, once you've lifted up the one, two piles at the front. Here's what it looks like from the back. You pull these two out, you replace the top one, pull out the middle, bring that one over. Remember, you don't keep it flush to enable you to bring that pile out like that, okay? So one more time. One, two, bring around, that one out, and then, whoop, that one on top right there. And you should have the cards in the same order. Now the second false shuffle is just a variation from the first one that we just learnt. And it looks like this. Again, the cards are all in our stack or new deck order. And it basically looks like this. A few cuts. And it retains the order perfectly. Now let's learn how that one's done. Okay, so just like before in the first false shuffle, the moves are exactly the same except instead of pulling it around like we did in the first one, we're going to use those same cuts, so one, two, and we're just gonna place one here, one here, take the first one, replace it and square it flush, and pull this one back. However, we're not gonna drop it on there, we're actually gonna use this pile to pull that pile back like that, because from behind, we're going to keep a break with our thumb, which you'll see in a second, and then we use that right there, okay? So again, it just looks like this. But to learn that, it's better if we do it from behind the scenes, so here we go. Okay, so with the second false shuffle, the movements are exactly the same. When I mean the same, it's just the same as what we did with the first shuffle, except instead of spinning them around like we did before, we are actually gonna place them on the table. So we go up, up with the left hand, and place one on the table here, the last one there. Take the first heap, place it there and keep it flush. And we use this pile to drag that one back, okay? We don't actually put it down on top. We use it to pull it back. With your left hand, you take your thumb to keep a break. And then you use your right hand to pull that one out and you slam it on top. So I'll do that again. So we go up, up, just like the first shuffle, put one on the table, two on the table, we take the first one, keep it flush, and then we drag that one back, keeping a break down here, and straight away, you place it on top. Now at speed, it looks like this. Drag it back, slam that on top, 
and you'll have a perfect order every single time. The very last shuffle that I'm going to show you is a false riffle shuffle. Now this is my favorite riffle shuffle to do. Now in my humble opinion, don't bash me in the comments, but I prefer this one over the Zero shuffle. And here is why. Because again, they're in new deck order, okay? So this is why I prefer it, because it just looks completely messy. And it looks innocent. And as you can see, it maintains the order. Now we can only learn this one from behind the scenes, so let's get right into it. Here's what it looks like from behind the scenes. So you take the cards, you give them a riffle, and you bring them in like that. That's the whole mechanics of it. So let's slow that down. Obviously that keeps it in new order. So this is what you do. You want to take your right hand, take your thumb, lift up half of the packet, okay? So that pretty much the same grip as the last two shuffles. You want to pick up with your thumb, half the packet. With your left pointer finger, you want to grab that top card as you slide that top half out. Okay, so do that again. Lift up with your thumb, half of the pack. Left pointer finger grabs the top card as you slide the rest out. Because essentially when we shuffle them, when we do the riffle, these are all going to go straight back under there, okay? So, we lift up, we take the top card of our left pointer finger, and then we riffle the cards. Now, when you riffle, you want to riffle the left-hand side a little bit faster because you want to have at least 10 to 12 cards to push here because when you push the cards forward, you're covering all of these cards push forward are going to cover you taking the rest of them and putting them back underneath. Okay, so I'll do that again. So we lift up half, pointer finger slides that top card off, and we riffle until we have one card on the left hand side and we have a whole heap on the right side. We push those forward and then we grab the rest, pull them out to hear that click and slide them under. And it looks like they all shuffled, but obviously they're not. Now I'm going to do it one more time at speed so that you can follow. Okay, so we lift up, pull it out, riffle them together, push those across, and those straight back under. And there you go. Alrighty peoples, that's it. What do you guys think of that? So they are pretty easy. You just got to put in a lot of practice to make them look as fluid and fluent as you can, okay? So if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the subscribe one as well. It's a little red one down here or down here. Not sure what side it's on, but it's there. And um, to everyone who leaves comments, I must say thank you. I try and get back to everybody. If I don't, thank you so much for leaving a comment. I do feel you guys love and support. And until next time, take care of yourself. I'll be back next week. Bye-bye.